In this lecture, I am going to introduce you to the notion of a combinatorial species. This idea was introduced by André Choyal uh, in the 1980s and uh, it has become a powerful uh, way to uh, understand label structures and uh, manipulate generating functions, or particularly exponential generating functions. The main reference, uh, a very comprehensive reference on the topic is uh, the book by Bergeron, Labelle and Leroux called Combinatorial Species and Tree-like Structures. A prototype for a combinatorial species is what we've already seen, uh, the permutations. So we associate it to each finite set U, the collection of all uh, permutations of, on U. Uh, that is all bijective functions from u to u and we saw that if we have a bijection from u to v then it's possible to take a permutation of u and turn it into a permutation of v. This is basically the idea behind uh, the definition of a combinatorial species. So here's the definition. A combinatorial species is a rule And we usually give this rule a name. So F is a generic name for a combinatorial species. And uh, what does this rule do? Firstly, uh, it produces for each finite set U a finite set FU. And this finite set FU is called uh, the set of F structures on U. And uh, the second thing it does, it produces for each bijection sigma of finite sets u to v a bijection which we will denote by f sigma from f u to f v. The function f sigma, the functions f sigma are required to satisfy the following axioms. So the first axiom is uh, the composition axiom. If you have a bijection sigma from u to v and another bijection tau from v to w, then f of tau circle sigma is f of tau circle f of sigma. And uh, the second axiom is that for the bijection identity u, u to u, the identity map f of identity u is just the identity map of f u. Those of you who've studied uh, category theory will recognize these two conditions as uh, those of functors. And in fact, uh, a combinatorial species can also be defined in the language of categories and functors. Um, so if you haven't, if you do haven't heard of category theory, then if you don't know what a category is or what a functor is, then uh, don't worry if you don't understand what I'm going to say. But if you do, then this may help uh, 
conceptualize the definition of a combinatorial species for you. So, uh, so it, it can be defined in the language of category theory as follows. Let F B denote this category whose objects are finite sets and whose morphisms or arrows are bijections of finite sets. Uh, so, the only arrows allowed in this category are uh, bijections. You don't allow any other functions. And then a species, a combinatorial species is a functor f from fb to fb. Okay, if you don't understand this definition once again, don't worry. But it may uh, help those who know some category theory. Okay, let me give you some examples of species. But okay, before that, uh, let me just uh, say a little bit about terminology. So this F sigma is called, uh, so uh, the F of U is called the set of F structures on you. And f of sigma is called the transport of f structure along sigma. Okay, let's look at a few examples. So uh, the first uh, example may be uh, very intuitive is uh, the species G of simple graphs, the species of simple graphs. So what do I need to do? I need to uh, give you a rule uh, which produces for every finite set another finite set G of U. So here G of U is the set of all symmetric binary relations on you. This binary relation is just uh, the edge relation. So given um, given um, S belongs to G U, so that's a graph structure on U or a G structure on U, right? So it's just taking a graph, uh, a graph with vertex at u. And given sigma u to v, a bijection, we can define uh, g sigma of s to be the relation so let's is the graph where uh, sigma u and sigma u prime form an edge are related that is in S prime, if and only if U and U prime form 
and H in S. Or if you want to talk in terms of relations, we can say uh, alternatively sigma u s prime sigma u prime if and only if u s u prime. So here s and s prime are thought of as um, relations. And saying that it's a simple graph means that these relations are symmetric. So here's a second example, S of U. This is somewhat familiar already. I've just changed the name. It's called the species of permutations. Uh, well, I should just say S is the species of permutations. How is it defined? S of U is just a set of all bijections from u to u. Let's say alpha and uh, I need to define transport of structure given sigma from u to v a bijection s sigma of alpha is the permutation on V which takes sigma x uh, sigma of u to sigma of alpha u. Another visualization of this is that if sigma is given uh, in terms of its cycle decomposition like this u v here's just an example u1 let's call them u1 u2 u3 u4 u5 let's say this is sigma then um s sigma no, this is alpha, then S sigma of alpha is going to be the permutation with cycle structure sigma u1 maps to sigma u2 maps to sigma u3 and sigma u4 maps to sigma u5 and sigma u5 maps back to sigma u4. So this is uh, the transport of structure for permutations. Now in this spirit, uh, we can define a lot of uh, different uh, structures, uh, uh, species which come from uh, set theoretic structures. So some standard species and they in the literature they tend to have certain standard names uh, which were introduced by Joyal and are used by also uh, in this book. So uh, first A stands for rooted trees. But let, let's let's start with uh, okay. So G stands for simple graphs, the species of simple graphs. I already explained what this is. Um, G zero stands for connected simple graphs. So G zero U is just the set of all uh, simple graph structures on U which in addition satisfy the axiom of being connected. And uh, little a is the species of trees. 
this uh, letter little a comes from the French word arbre, which stands for trees, and capital A is the species of rooted trees. And this comes from the French word arborescence. Um, so now when you, so uh, just, just to be uh, clear, A of U, uh, this, this collection A of U consists of all rooted tree structures on U. So to describe a rooted tree structure on U, you need to give two things. You need to give U naught, a distinguished element of U, which is the root. And you also need to give an edge relation. And then this edge relation needs to satisfy the axioms of connectedness and no cycles. Then you get a rooted tree. And when you transfer structure, the root will, uh, if you transfer structure along sigma, then the root of V will be sigma of U naught, where U naught is the root of the original structure. Um, then we can talk about the species of directed graphs, D par set partitions. So it should be clear to you how to transfer uh, the structure of a set partition along a bijection. Uh, P is the species of subsets. It's also called the power set construction. Hence it's named P. Um, we have the species end. It's called the species of endo functions. So it's all functions. So maybe I'll just say it here. End u is going to be the set of all functions f from u to u. And uh, transport of structure along sigma will be end uh, sigma f of sigma u is going to be sigma of f u, just like we did for uh, bijections, permutations. Inf is a species of all involutions. Involutions on u are all uh, permutations of u, which when composed with themselves give identity. S is the species of uh, permutations, already told you about that. Um, C is the species of permutations which form a single cycle, it's just called the species of cycles. And uh, L is the species of linear orders. So L of U is just the set of all possible uh, linear order structures on U. Which means you just take the elements of U and arrange them in some order. So if U has cardinality N, then L of U will have cardinality N factorial. Cardinality of U factorial. Okay, so these are some uh, common species and their standard names, uh, which come from um, combinatorial structures. Uh, there are also species which we find very useful, which uh, we need to define uh, by explicit construction. So the most important species of this kind is E of U. So E, uh, well, is the species E, where E of U is just defined to be the singleton set consisting of only one element, namely the set U itself. 
for every u. So this is called the species of uh, sets. Uh, it gets its letter E from the French word ensemble, which stands for set. There's the species epsilon u, which is called the species of elements. Epsilon u is u, um, and transport of structure is defined uh, by just epsilon of sigma is just a sigma itself. So if you have a sigma is from u to v, then from epsilon u to epsilon v, uh, epsilon sigma is also just sigma. Uh, in the case of the species of sets, uh, there's only one function from a singleton set to a singleton set, and that's what the tra transport of structure is. So this is called the species of elements uh, x u is the species uh, which has uh, takes value singleton set u if cardinality of u equals 1 and it has uh, no there are no f structures x structures on a set with cardinality not equal to 1 this is called the species of singletons so you cannot put a singleton structure on a set which doesn't have uh, just exactly one element. One u is uh, the species which uh, it's called the empty empty species, uh, the empty set species, and uh, it its uh, value is singleton u if u is the empty set, and it's nothing otherwise. So this is called the empty set species. So you cannot put an empty stru set structure on a non-empty set. And if you have an empty set, it has a unique empty set structure. Zero u is called the empty species. It's just empty for all u. And finally, we have uh, ek u the characteristic of sets of size k. So this is u if the cardinality of u is k and empty otherwise. Okay, so um, in some of these examples, I didn't tell you what the transport of structure is, but it's always obvious uh, from the construction, there's usually just one possibility for it. Now, these definitions might seem a little strange, but uh, these are going to uh, play the roles of uh, building blocks of the algebra of all species, uh, much like we built an algebra out of combinatorial classes. So in the next uh, lecture, we are going to see uh, how to associate generating functions to species and then show how set theoretic constructions on species relate to um, algebraic uh, manipulations on these generating functions.